what do we mean by the mystical theology of the church? I've used the word mystical, and this is a very slippery word. It could mean many different things to different people. Basically, for me, the words mystical or mysticism signify that Christianity is not just an ideology. It's not just a question of holding certain beliefs with my reasoning brain. Equally, Christianity is not just a moral code, not just a question of obeying certain rules. It is both those things, but it is much more. To be a Christian means to have a direct personal experience of God. Not merely to say, I know that there is a God, but to go beyond that and say, however humbly, However inadequately, I know God. So Christianity involves an encounter, a meeting with the person of Christ our Saviour in the Holy Spirit. So the essential thing in the mystical life is personal encounter. Christianity is not just a theory or a set of rules. It is something that transforms our whole life. So when I speak of mystical life, I do not make a contrast between the outward worship of the church and inner prayer. The mystical element includes both of those things. The foundation of our life in Christ is baptism and then Holy Communion, along with the sacrament of confession. Of course, there are other sacraments which are conferred upon particular people, like marriage, not all of us are married, I am a monk, or again, ordination, not everyone is ordained, though I am. But the three sacraments I've just mentioned, baptism, Eucharist and confession, they are certainly conferred upon all of us. Mm -hmm. And indeed in Greek, the word for a sacrament is mysterion, a mystery. And that clearly relates to the word mystical. So the mystical life as understood by orthodoxy is a life in the sacraments. But then alongside our sacramental experience, which is essential for all, there is also the possibility of exploring the mysteries of inner prayer. Now the Jesus prayer is not the only form of inner prayer in the Orthodox Church. There are other ways of praying in your room. You can read the Bible. Indeed, every Christian ought surely to read the Bible every day. You can practice the prayer of intercession, praying by name for different people. You can read particularly the Psalms, which have always played a central part in the life of prayer, both in Judaism and in Christianity. But among the different ways of praying in your own room, by yourself, 
The Jesus prayer for me has been a very precious treasure and I therefore build my own spiritual life around this invocation of the holy name of Jesus. There is a whole tradition concerning the power that is present in the name of Jesus, the name given to the second person of the Trinity when he became man, when he became human. So the heart of the Jesus prayer is the holy name of Jesus. The Jesus prayer is not magic, but there is sacramental power in that name. So that, in a broad sense, is the way I understand the mystical life, life in the sacraments, but also, for me, the experience of the Jesus prayer. 